I've never seen it. Lindsay, you were there. solving marriage. Oh, I was oh, solving sorry. marriage. <laughs> no, I just, I, I think, look, I think you either have to have the money to pay for an expensive wedding and then invite comedians and your friends, or you have to not yeah. invite comedians. Yeah. Because there's no way, because like, you go over like the people that you know, like the people that I know compared to Nick, like, I, it would be like, 95% my friends that right. like I just really love so much and I never see them but yes. like if I you just, go to like, like a third yes. tier friend and I don't even mean that in a mean way <laughs> no. but if you're like people who you, who could text you and it wouldn't be weird comedians yeah. have like 700 of them right that's the thing he's like you're always texting people how are you always te-? and I'm just like because you're I'm- tired of me <laughs> and I'm funny and I, I have know. to be funny that's all I know <laughs> I'm like I need validation we're doing bits <laughs> You would be so mad if I told you everything I was texting someone I haven't seen for three months. I know. I, the people that I text in New York that I've like seen twice mm-hmm. that I'm like, okay, yeah. I mean, we just honestly have really good banter over text. I don't know what to tell you. They're really good at the little penguin beer pong game. Yeah. They they write, they text. If you text the same way I text, I will text with you all the time. Oh, yeah. Because I'm a rapid fire 40 paragraphs. You text from your computer. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. text from my heart. Ooh. And okay. it's a lot. That's and it's a, I go in hot. I feel no, like I is that a same, green bubble or is that a blue bubble? Thing. It's pink. <laughs> it? Katrina Davis used to say that I text like I'm terminally ill. <laughs> I, She'd be like, the way that you communicate with your friends is if you're gonna die tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I like that level of intensity. I like look. Do you know That's every why all Sunday? My friends are lesbians. <laughs> this, this makes perfect sense. All you know, every Sunday your phone will be like, here's how much time you spent on your phone. Yeah, and you're like, oh my god, I haven't done anything other than be on my phone, and it's yeah. like a full time job, and it mm-hmm. breaks down. I was looking at like, oh, it must be TikTok. Yeah, and it's not. It's texting. I'm just texting <laughs> my friends. It's really crazy to be like, I was in the, I was in the message app for four hours yeah, it's crazy. in the app literally I mean, just what figuring out how to make the fireworks thing pop up again <laughs> yes <laughs> just drafting like yeah. how no, my day was <laughs> honestly it's like it's genuinely bizarre but then if someone calls me i'm infuriated how yeah. many group texts do you have muted uh um i mean technically all of them but it still goes to my i i don't know how like to where the text it doesn't show up every time they text you. It d- really? I haven't it does, muted. I don't have a single show boundary. Up. I have one that I muted because it's it's like a very large group of women. But if I go through, it's like one, two. I wish I knew how to like mute it so that it doesn't send me notifications, but it still does. Yeah. I had a. I, I just saw my parents came. I was in Colorado doing shows, and they came from Missouri to like say hi. And my mom's figuring out texting. My dad nice. does not, no cell phone. No, it doesn't give a shit. Right. But my mom is like, she's in a group text with my brother and my sister and I, and yeah. she loves it. And then she's just like, do you guys have one that's just you guys? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. There's so much more texting in that one. Yeah. Because uh, in that one, we don't think the laughing emoji and the crying emoji are the same thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> in that one, we don't laugh at death all of the time. That is so funny. But I'm in two, I don't know. I'm Sometimes... I turn them all off of mute and then you're just like, I can't, I can't keep up with this. Yeah, I, uh, there are times it depends. Like usually I'm really in for it. It makes me feel like I'm hanging out with people and yeah. I know that's so sad. <laughs> and I really it do. kind of is though. It's not sad. It's kind of, it, you are yeah. kind of hanging out with people. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I like, I also like, I am definitely an extrovert and I feed off of social interaction, but then I do get really tired. I, yeah. When I like to be alone, I like to be really solitary and texting is kind of the best of both worlds. Yes. Because you can just walk out of the room. Yeah. I guess. If I like get overwhelmed and I'm like, ew, I just put my phone down. <laughs> yeah. 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 I have this issue where my family group chat, who my fiance Nazara has muted all of the family group chats, which I think is a beautiful boundary Mm -hmm. that she has. Mm -hmm. Every time my dad responds to a text, it starts a new chain. And it's not a new chain that there's two. It's a completely new one. Well, who has an Android is my question. Multiple people have. It's men. It's men in the Midwest who are over the age of 32. I like when they're like, oh, the camera's better, Nick. What are you taking a picture of? A truck from far away. Thank you. 
Literally, you're I describing can't. Sam Wiles in all <laughs> yeah. of my group texts. <laughs> a man over 32. Genuinely uh, mid- <laughs> Midwest. From the Midwest. Every single time he's like, the group texts aren't working. And I'm like, well, it's you. Yeah, you have an Android. It's such <sighs> an incredible, I, I drove to Colorado. Yeah. I can't fly. So I'm in these, right. I drive everywhere. Yeah. And I'm driving through Utah listening to a podcast about how the U.S. government is suing Apple. Love it. For being a monopoly. And one of their things is the walled off group chat thing oh my yes where they're like you need to make iMessage available for android and apple's like no and you know what it's the main thing yeah i will remain on apple because i can go from my computer my phone texting and it's easy because that's kind of all i do the rest of stuff is the same everywhere yeah but the texting is so important no they really do make it hard my mom has an android and i can't half the time i can't send her messages for literally no reason i it just you send a picture and it looks like eight bit yeah, you know what I mean. You exactly. can't even tell what it is anymore. What are we doing with all? No, of this? it's like code sh- code switching. I'm like, I can't. It, I'm overwhelmed by even the thought of texting with somebody who has an Android phone. It's so. Yeah. It's also. It's just such a stubborn choice at this point. It is. <laughs> it's such a stubborn choice. Like my mom. My mom does it. I mean, my mom does it because she's just she's a Windows uh, like girly. That's just mm-hmm. who she is. But like like a Google, that's her I love vibe. that. I love being super into Windows. <laughs> yeah. She's a, she's a tattoo of a toaster flying across the screen. <laughs> she My. loves 3D pipes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> she is like an old school computer whiz. So like not up to date, but like very technologically advanced mm-hmm. for her age. But huh. like, so like her, if you ask her why she has an Android, she has like a whole thing of of things that ultimately don't matter. I really like when people, this is my, you can have one if you want. Yeah. It really doesn't bother me. I was in a group chat with a bunch of guys and and we bought, there's 13 of us and we bought the one holdout, an iPhone because Stop. it was such a nightmare. That's wow. so funny. And we were just like, you know what? Instead of paying for the any group stuff this year, we're, we're going to buy Dan a iPhone oh. <laughs> because we can't deal with it. And if we all go in on this, it's, it's worth this because yeah. it's a new thread. 50 times a day sometimes. What did Dan do when he got Resist. it? Resist. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. They don't want to be helped. No. Yeah. They'll be like, I like customizing. You what? What do you customize? <laughs> yeah. You sp- I, I don't want to sit and make my phone look different. Yeah. It's no. also, it, it is better quality. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make your life easier. No. No, I want to know specifically where the kid who made my phone lives. Yeah. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It is, it is, and that's part of it in the suit. They like literally make the products crappy. They like throttle your shit and like, like they do everything that we should be upset about, but like, I don't know, this shit looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't use it for anything. What I use it for, it works great on that. Yeah. It's, a- it's like I could download, I don't, I don't care. Like ev- everything is wrong in this phone. Fu- everything in this phone is wrong in general. So sure. like, at this point, I'm not going to argue over what feels like semantics, but yeah. is actually very valid points. Why? I've kind of quit thinking about it. I worked at Apple for like 10 years. Oh, did you? And were you I a genius bar yeah, boy? I was. Oh, oh, my God. You were a genius bar boy. Great yeah. glasses, by the way. Thank you. You guys can't see if you're listening, but Kyle is really good. And if you guys are listening, my, th- my voice sounds a little weird because my throat is scarred. Fuck that. that sounds like a Red Hot Chili Peppers song. I, my, just, my I, I just threw up a lot. <laughs> Don't worry, I just died last night. No, okay, um, fair. I I used to throw up a lot too. Brag. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I thought Jake might hit a sound effect or something. But I, I, I did it on purpose. Um, I was doing it on purpose. It felt better too. Yeah. We should, yeah. This is a weird thing to talk it around. Is. But can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. When uh, so something that came to me in my adult life and. Because I'm not a big puker anymore. Um, but when I puke, I scream at the same time. <laughs> and I can't help it. I genuinely yeah, yeah, yeah. I genuinely can't puke without screaming at the same time. <laughs> that sounds like a like a toucan mating ritual or something. You know what I mean? Like they're like some planet Earth thing where they're like the rare toucan. I know. I just have no control over it and I don't know. So like the very few times in the last couple of years that I've bit that I've gotten sick I'm alone in the bathroom. That might be COVID-20. And my husband is outside the door and I'm just <gasps> 
I'm just picturing like the Team America puppets throwing up where they're just like screaming and vomiting oh at these God. things. Yeah. I think I've noticed that, and this is something I don't like that's happening to me, is I dad sneeze now. Oh no. When did that start to happen? I don't know. I it this it sounds I hate going back to it, but it hurts me a lot to sneeze because yeah. of this nerve thing. That sure. makes sense. So I can't if I try and suppress it, I'm like worried my head's gonna explode yeah, or something. For sure. But we were at a uh, I was with uh, Bailey at a cracker barrel in Salt Lake or in Utah driving back from Colorado. Top to bottom, one of my prouder sentences yeah, right there. No, I, I like it. It actually sucked. I it, thought a Cracker Barrel in no. Utah. First off, I thought it would just be a lowercase C and B in Utah. That's just the name they call restaurants. <laughs> but it was bad. Yeah. And they messed up the order. Yeah. No. And it was just, I couldn't. And they don't sell the old games anymore. No. Which I wanted to buy like Peg Triangle or something, like, oh, which sounds like a sure. new app. But you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we actually quit selling it because we our SEO was so bad. People would Google <laughs> peg triangle and Cracker Barrel would pop up. Um, but they don't sell any of it. But I sneezed at the Cracker Barrel. And then I heard another man sneeze the same way. And I looked over and he was 250 years old. <sighs> Shut and up. And I was like, oh, no. Because it's like a... Arr! You know what I mean? Like, oh, a, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want you to. I don't want anyone to hold on to that that sneeze power. There's like a lot of velocity happening. I don't mm-hmm. want anyone to be worried. And I feel like the the bigger that you sneeze, I feel like you can open up chakras that way. Maybe the more effective way. it was. Yeah. Well, I, I feel like men are like, oh, it's becoming like you're a dad sneezer, and I'm yeah. like, we should all be sneezing and coming way harder than we're doing. Yeah. Well, you're but using words that are banned in you Utah. You should now. cover your <laughs> mouth. Coming and covering chakra. your mouth is a big thing. I go right into the elbow, and then I had to almost change shirts. It was oh, such a. This oh is God. a disgusting. I thing love to talk that. About. I know. I like the elbow. The elbow is a pro move. Yeah. That's a pro move. Oh, uh, the real dad sneeze. I think at this point would literally be if I today I started dabbing when I did it. Like oh. that's like it's what's a trend. If if I did yeah. the whole Harlem shake every time I sneezed <laughs> yeah. or something that's that old. Yeah. Um, every time I sneezed, I tell you what color I think that dress was. <laughs> wow. You sneeze, you floss. <laughs> yeah, I'm flossing. I'm wow. a sire. I'm an out. I'm, a, I'm in like a, I sigh <laughs> I out loud. I thought you meant like a medieval like. No. <laughs> 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 like a very sarcastic uh, surf. Okay, excuse me. I am a sire. Uh, no, I sigh out loud. I genuinely, like I make a sound. I'll be like. <sighs> do you think we all suppress everything too much? Yeah, yeah, I do. For because sure. I feel like I feel so much better letting anything out in yeah. your capacity. But you don't want to be rude. So we all just no we're a loser. take up more space. Sneeze hard. I think we, yeah. I, I do try and take up the least amount of space possible. Barf hard, Barf sneeze hard. hard. <laughs> Barf hard, sneeze hard. Two of my hard. favorite fish Ooh. albums. Love hard. We gotta take live up more laugh. space. Barf. Live laugh. Barf. <laughs> live, laugh. Barf, Barf laugh hard. hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the movie podcast. Great. I love it. No, that's good. Thanks for having me. I like it. I haven't recorded in a long time. You might. It's like been like a month and a half. Really? Wow. I, feel like I was out of time. Not that long, right, Jay? Like, two weeks. Two weeks. It's been the longest two weeks of my hey. fucking life. Well, uh, Welcome back. You ever, yeah. Driving to Utah is what made it seem so wonderful and so long since I had done something. Yeah. Because yeah. it's such a uh, Utah. How were so your insane. shows? They were actually really great. It's like the Comedy Fort in Fort Collins. Obs- so, it's like the coolest. Oh, I've There's heard There's something good so things. wonderful about a club ran by someone who's been who's performed in clubs who yes. knows what's good about them. And the Wi-Fi password is best-selling? Yes, the Wi-Fi obsessed. password is best-selling. Oh, or like obsessed. Stelling Stelling with 69 with yeah. a one instead of an <laughs> I or something like that. It's so funny to like yell that out loud. But who's you, the guy who lives above the... Comedy Ford is like listening. He's like free, yes, free internet. Now. I love that. Um, yeah. I haven't it been. It was great. I went you to Denver to. and I went to Boulder and like, I yeah, I really like Boulder. I don't care about Denver. It, Boulder was fun. Boulder, there was a huge. It was that show on the Sunday show, Brent Gill yeah. show, and there was a huge, huge uh, snowstorm. And so right now I'm traveling and doing a show about this brain thing, and um, so. I don't know who's going to, it's a little bit different than regular stand-up sure. shows. And then there was like a hundred some people at the Boulder show and a literal snowstorm. I'm driving my Nissan Versa in. Hell yeah. The only other Nissan Versa I saw in Denver was spun out, smashed into the side median Oof. during a snowstorm. And I was like, hey, there's my car. Because it's not made for yeah, yeah, yeah. snow. But there were so many people out in Boulder. And then, I mean, the shows were so fun. Yeah. I had such a nice time. They are exhausting. Mm. And I swear if you were listening and came, I mean this in the nicest possible way. Yeah. The most fun I have 
is talking to people afterwards mm. for a couple of reasons. One, because a lot of people who are in chronic pain come out to the show and it's That's hard awesome. to find someone to talk to. And two, because it's hilarious for a line of people to come up to you and tell you why they're dying. Wow. Like it's yeah. like, I, it's like in the most morbid part of me, it's like yeah. people like shake my hand and be like, I have bone cancer. Is that a, a pen I can buy? Wow. And I'm like, oh, I'm it. like, yeah, scan the Venmo QR code. Oh. <laughs> That's so dope, um, though. They need it. That's yeah. the kind of shit that I'm so down for. Yeah. I, I have a j- really good fun time with that. Um, it, it's great. It's great. I told a joke the other night about how I used to, how I was dating a 25 year old when I was 15. And this, and, and like, just like, just gross. And this woman comes up to me after and she's like, thank you for telling my story. And I was like, you know, I would love. She's dating a 15 year old now. Yeah, exactly. I would love a, (laughs) I would love a fist bump. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'd love I'd love like a dude to be like you're a legit comic cuz that for some reason I feel like I need that. <laughs> but um I'll take a thanks for telling Not cuz you know story. who you know who will contribute to your success and ability to pay off rent is not the fist bump. Yeah, thanks for uh, telling my, <laughs> it, telling it, my story, girl. I have had such a uh, I have did not know my audience base would pivot to 60 to 70 year old women in groups of three, That's but it really has so because they're the people with the same disease That's so <laughs> and sweet. they keep coming out. This woman was like, I'm sorry, I was on my phone. I thought my friend Denise had this disease. And so I texted her and it was good show <laughs> and i'm Hell like that's so yeah. nice now you understand denise a little bit more when i do shows at the end i feel like i have a large queer audience and then people will come that are allies that they're like oh my 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 son's gay or my daughter's gay mm-hmm. yeah and then they'll they'll go through the line the queer people will come through the line and then the straight people will be like and by the way i um i bet now i'm also fucking gay too but i don't know how to <laughs> <please>. <laughs> They're like, I don't know, because I'm supposed to be the ally, but here I am gay. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is sweet, because then I feel like, to tell I feel yeah. like being so openly gay, people confess to me all the gay thoughts that they've ever sure. had at the yeah. end of shows. They'll just be like, oh, I have to tell you, in 2009, I kissed my friend Chelsea, and now you you get to know that. And it's I'm like, such okay. a weird thing for you to then say, like, hey, thanks for coming out. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, yeah. it's like, to we're, the show, to the show. To we're the show. so numb to the shit we talk about, but like, I think all three of us talk about personal life experiences, yeah. and there's a lot of comics who don't this is very new for me oh wow like yeah. this is only exclusively since uh the disease returned post brain surgery i mean i love have it. i ever talked about a real thing in my because the rest of it's like oh it's jokes about my family that's never happened you know what i mean it's right, like right, it's all right. just like misdirects and tricks and yeah. stuff yeah but now it is such a then i tried to just casually talk about it and people like the fuck is this guy doing and it's like i do like good sure. heroin and be like in an eight minute set where i'm like hey guys i have a brain disease hang on i have some puns about it and people yeah, are like, yeah, yeah. i don't like your energy well mm. nobody at good heroin likes anyone's energy <laughs> 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 and it's my show <laughs> and they do not like my energy they like the energy <sighs> of uh the tables inside yeah wait whenever you're hosting sometimes you get people like who come to see a comedy show and then they're like tell you that like, you should do comedy yeah oh that for sure. fucking uh, people i've seen people to watch me do an hour of stand-up and then they'll be like hey you might be a comedian yeah <laughs> no exactly yeah. it's like they if you <laughs> write that down people will come up to me after i do a real set when i pass the bucket if it's just me hosting mm-hmm. and people will go i, I like when you did a real set and i'm like <laughs> You know what, you guys, I'm literally doing my best. That I like posted about it, but like two weeks ago, there's a guy and he was so nice. And I feel bad for telling everybody because I know he meant well by it. Well. But he was like, oh, this is a great show. I'd love it. And he was like, oh man, watching you up there. It's crazy. It's like watching someone, you know, like try to mow the lawn, but it's all rocks. No. And, and, no. Then, and then he goes, he was like, yeah, I was telling my friend, nobody bombs like Lindsay. She just like, man, she just takes it. Did that guy just like, just discover similes? I, I don't know. Like that was, day he learned bombs about like them. Lindsay is- I, I was like, yeah, I was especially like, with maybe, Oppenheimer winning all these awards. Uh, I was like, maybe he's a comic. And like, look, I took it for what it was, which right. was a compliment, but it was just so funny. I was like, Wow, I mean that's what it feels like, but I'm glad that that translates. It's wow. like the it's like a long version of I liked you. 
<laughs> that people love to say on yeah, shows yeah, yeah, or things yeah, yeah. Which, like, like that. I get a lot of that, and I think it's because I go, I end up yelling at them a lot. Good. And like, I think we may have talked about this on here, Lindsay. Yeah. But one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life was the night I was doing good hair when you just got a new jacket, or you're just wearing a new jacket, <laughs> and you're like, I'm so worried they're not going to like this jacket. And we're like all there, hang out before the show, and you're like, I think they're just not going to like this jacket at all. And we're like, it's a great jacket, and you're like, I don't know, I think it's going to throw them off. And then you go up. And you start the show and then you do maybe a third of one joke <laughs> and not and and not the and like there's eight percent of the audience that's not listening. Yeah. yeah and yeah. you go, is it my jacket? Yes. <laughs> I know you guys hate the jacket, don't you? It's throwing everything off. And it was just like two people were sitting down was the problem. They, that was the only thing that would be, you were oh just God. so ready to abandon. I, and incredible. then you abandoned what? any semblance of doing like a real set no. and it turned into just your insecurities about buying and wearing a jacket it's, and that's how it always turns into that it always I always have to like I always feel like I need to call out I feel like I need to do an M&M in mm-hmm. an mm-hmm. 8 mile where I'm like and I do look stupid and I, and except, I am a loser <laughs> yeah you're like M&M yeah. 8 miling yourself except no one else gets a mic so it's, such a, it's like if you did that and there were no opponents so you you're just like uh, this jacket sucks i suck here's one of my friends and then it's just someone you why know why do you guys hate me stage. it's cool if you hate me though because i hate me too to be fair much like eight mile i bet most people there's parents are rich yes <laughs> and that's a secret they bury yes. deep down yes. to fit in <laughs> Uh, you're like I gotta jump on I know what we're all thinking I'm too short to be here <laughs> you're <Yeah. laughs> like what <laughs> oh, and the man. best part is that it's it's genuinely not even funny to the audience it's only funny to the comedians mm-hmm. because yeah. the audience is so thrown that they're just like wait what is how-? <laughs> like <laughs> it's so weird it is such it is <sighs> It's wow. such a deep self sabotage that like I'm trying so hard. I'm like, don't talk about clothes, don't talk about clothes, don't talk about clothes. And I'm like, well, I rented this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing newly? Yeah, I'm doing newly. Fuck yeah! I oh just wait, is this a real thing? No, time. legit. And I can't not. Anytime someone's like, this isn't rented, but like I have this jacket that I love. Yeah. <laughs> and anytime someone's like, oh, that's a great jacket, I'm like, it's rented. Yeah. How do you rent a jacket? Explain this. To newly me. is like Nazara. I just started doing this. Is this not the business that Aziz Ansari made in Parks and Recreation? No, it's well. Didn't his character start renting clothes? But it was because he was small and he rented clothes to little boys. Yeah, that's and hysterical. It, it really is. Yeah, it is kind of that vibe. I mean, it's a good. Tar- Whose clothes are they? They are companies' clothes, and okay. you can buy them at a discount mm-hmm. if you want to keep it. Mm-hmm. And it honestly is a really good way to figure out what the fuck to wear. Yes, I could see if it's something like an expensive jacket or something like you want to really invest in you kind of want to wear it twice before because what if you buy it and you yeah. it's it's super expensive and you wear it home you're like actually i don't like how this fits when i'm sitting down or some weird for thing sure like for that. sure for sure there's oh, sitting 100%. fits there's standing fits there's stage clothes there's podcast clothes stage, stage clothes is clothes. such an incredible thing yeah i know it really is i just bought a wild fang jumpsuit and i was like how are you not gay i know <laughs> i know i am a little gay yeah. but i'm not sorry we have a i retired anytime any, yes. anyone asks Lindsay in particular that question <laughs> How are you not gay? Wait, how many people have asked you that? Uh, a ton. A ton. Yeah, right, I was literally right. just out with Ever the other night, and they're like, is this a thing? Somebody, and yeah. I was like, stop, but our knees were intertwined. Of course they were. <laughs> of course they were. We like looked down, and we were like, oh, we are like sitting on top of each other. I've yeah. always felt a queer sisterhood with you. Yeah. Which, sisterhood which I Sisterhood of love, the rented pants. Which I yeah. love, and I'm all for. Yeah. I do think that... Get, I'm gay in my soul. I yeah. just happen to find and this culturally, man. yeah, queer, yeah, yeah, very yeah, yeah, so. very much so. Huh. I mean, but yeah, it's really inexplainable. And I don't want to be that person who's like, look, I used to fuck women, but I did. So, yeah. so you there know, you go. I just want to throw that out there. If you get a gay vibe, that's because you've. It's because mm-hmm. I've been, been gay. Right, we'll that. drop a poll in the YouTube comments, everyone. Should <laughs> Lindsay be? <laughs> I turn this into interaction. Should I be gay? <laughs> I just text Nick. I'm leaving. Yeah. Slam that like button. Yeah. I do feel like there's no one gayer though than somebody who has fucked a bunch of women and then has a husband. Like those are the gayest people that you'll meet. Those are the people that after the show that are just like, they need you to know. And I appreciate that type of queer That's person. That is so funny. I just didn't talk about it forever because I was like, well, it's been so long. And also... I had the worst taste in women. So did like, you really? I had like the absolute worst. I loved like a heroin addict that worked at AutoZone. Like, 
I was like just like a toxic dyke. Back like then, the, it was just good, comma heroin. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I just like I loved the most toxic lesbian. Oh, no. That's those were like that was my type every single time. If you are a toxic lesbian with a big who's mean to me yeah mm-hmm. like uh, who hates me initially it's wow. i like that you're describing this like this was a long you're describing trauma you're like I, this thing was horrible to me but it was a long time ago so it doesn't matter yeah. and you're like i think it might matter a lot I it like might be affecting like, everything I fucking hate you and i'm like not for long baby <laughs> <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's hot. I yeah, that. That, <laughs> see, it it, che- it absolutely checks out. And then I was like, this isn't working for me. Um, so you know, here we are. I, I didn't expect to come out, but I thought no, I've I'm seen you kidding. do sets about that. No, I have. Yeah. I do sets about it. I'm yeah, joking. thank God. No, I like no, no, to hear. No. I would love to see you doing a set about this and constantly then self handicapping back to your jacket sucking I the entire time. You're like, love- does this jumpsuit not fit? You're just screaming <laughs> about it the whole I, time. I plan on wearing the jumpsuit tomorrow night to a show, oh, and I can't wait if to I see don't, it. if I don't bring it up. I'll regret it for the rest of my life. I ha- I'm going to have to ask the audience for we approval. Should, we got to take a break and we got to talk about my cousin Vinny and like any of the concept of the podcast. I'm but I want to know it. more about uh, uh, this app. Oh, so how does it give me the logistics a little bit? What's it called? Timu? Newly. Oh. No, Timu is. Timu is where you buy junk. little things. Yeah. Okay, that, right, junk. Kids, that children make. <laughs> it's yeah, where you yeah. buy trash yeah. on your phone. It's where People you hate trash. on kids making stuff, but their little fingers make it a lot easier. Mm-hmm. This is the thing I got in trouble for saying at the Apple store. Yeah. They're, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Their little nimble fingers are so good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like, you know, if you avoid the occasional note, you know, (laughs) (laughs) pleading for help. (laughs) Like in your train set or something. Like uh, like someone writes on the tag. (laughs) On the motherboard, it just says help. And you're like, I love Easter eggs. (laughs) I know. (laughs) You're like, wow, this is a cool tapestry. He has risen and then fallen off the top of the building into a net they put up. (laughs) They no, uh, so newly you go on, you get like eight pieces of clothing a month, and they encourage you like wear it. Like if you stain it, it's fine. Like they're not mad about it. Okay. They dry clean everything, and uh, you pick out different pieces. You can pick out different sizes, and then you wear it, and you can keep it for another month if you want, and count it towards your next month of. So it's like a monthly cost, and yeah. then you have like credits it's that are subscri- eight a month, and it's a subscription service, as all things are. Yeah, at this point. Mm-hmm. but for people who it is good for stage clothes. I know yes. a lot of girls who are comics who do it because everybody's always taking photos, and it's like mortifying can we get an app where they make them take photos from not the lowest possible angle please that Uh, would be for the love of god (laughs) it's never i love comedy photographers and then every time i see someone like on their knees i'm like get up buddy i already got chins i know People are, are now starting to speak out, which I appreciate. Oh <laughs> We're so brave for sp- not naming a single name. People people will mid-shot stop a photographer and go, no, no, no. Don't, don't do, do that. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely so, not. I, the, the only reason you're this close is because no one's here. Yeah. <laughs> so please go back and do yeah. the one where you get the silhouette of the audience member yeah. and then then get me from that Yeah, angle. no, head back. This is not your time to shine. When okay? I, did, I did that OnlyFans set thing and they oh, sent me yeah. some of the pictures and oh, I was like, was oh, it? these are all bad. Oh, yes. uh, well, some of them were okay, but they're like, do you approve these? And I, d- I said yes to all of them because I don't. Sure. There's none of them that I dislike. They're bad because I don't physically love. I like quit. I don't eat well that much anymore. Yeah. I'm like, look, nothing. Feel- I feel bad all day, every day physically. Sure. Why am I like going to also punish myself? I think that's honestly, um, I'm pr- I'm proud of you for that. And so then I'm like looking at these pictures and I'm just like, there was no one in here and these are staged. Could we have not had a better angle than like low? <laughs> You know what I mean? There's this yeah, is yeah, taken yeah. before, the, like an hour before the show, and I'm um, pretending to do stand up. I feel like I'm working really hard on trying to like say the things that like people are, are doing wrong yeah. around me because mm-hmm. I'm like I'm old now. I should have yeah. enough like adulthood to be like stand higher, or if I'm hiring somebody, yeah, like you gotta shoot me up here, yeah, or like people will book me and spell my name wrong, and I'm like this is I'm like the universe keeps t- testing me. So I, like this just happened two days ago, spelled a name wrong. I was like, okay, I'm gonna email. I'm gonna email. I'm going to go out and draft an email. Yeah. And it took me about three hours of, I don't know if I should send this email. Yeah. And then finally sending it and being like, you spelled You're like my so worried name. about it. You clean your whole home. No, true. In the interim. You're like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, I got to at least, you know, clean the dishwasher inside. I saw a TikTok. You okay, got to clean the dishwasher. Dishwasher, inside. brag. Um, <laughs> yeah, I only have the inside of one, not wow. the outside. <laughs> no. It just sprays all over my fucking kitchen. Uh, You're like, I'm so glad I have a dishwasher. 
No, rough. I think that that's huge. And I am trying to do that too, but I can't do it without apologizing first. Yes. So I'm working on, on not starting it out with, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And my microaggression way of doing it, which is so like misguided and misdirected is if I bump into someone at the grocery store, I refuse to say sorry. Yes. Yes. Oh, I, I have done this thing where if people are walking in too wide of a group, yeah. I'm not going to go around. I and do the same thing. But the problem is I'm large. Yeah. And so it comes off as more aggressive. I'm like, it comes off as more right. aggressive. I'm literally doing it on purpose to be aggressive. So, yes. right. but I'm just like, I might like knock someone. Yeah. But I'll be all the way on the far right. And then it's still, they're walking like eight people wide with a cart sideways. Yeah. No. And I'll just like, I, I deserve a little bit of space. Maybe not the amount that I physically take up, but give me 80% of the amount yeah. that I Do take it. up. It's not my fault. I guess some people walk, you're still running outside sometimes, right? Yeah. Well, I haven't because of my back in a while, but Fucking I used back. to. But no, I used to apologize all the time. I, I refuse. You yeah. can get out of the way too. Absolutely. I want to hit somebody and then say, you're welcome yeah, for yeah. getting to touch part of my hot jacked the, body, you yeah. stupid bitch move. That's I know. That's a shirt. The stretched out, it is a shirt. It is a shirt. Well, it, the problem is when you end up body checking a teenager and then you're like, well, I, am I beating up kids now? I guess. Like, yeah. For I, feminism, I, I will guess. I would never, I cannot believe I'm going to admit that I haven't done this. I was at the mall. This is a long time ago. This yeah. is pre-COVID. I'm so excited. I was at the mall, but I was in, I'm in, I was like in a lot of pain. Yeah. I was going up an escalator and some YouTube kid did the like grab my hand and run his hand all oh, the way up no. my arm no. thing to me. Yeah. And I. I didn't know that really was a thing. Yeah. And I look over and he's like, he has his hand like running my arm and I grabbed him by his collar and pulled him down <gasps> face first into the escalator. <laughs> and he like hit his face and then he screamed like, fuck you. And then I turned around and walked down the up escalator towards him and he took off running. Wow. And then yes. I felt the best I've ever felt. Yeah. I didn't even really realize what had happened. Part of yeah. me thought he was like, robbing me or something right but it he felt so it. the way he was like because sure. he like caressed me and then yeah. like winked at me or something yeah. just to make like a funny little video because i saw him and his friend like running away with their camera you yeah. know what I mean? with like their camera phone and That's but i think i like violation. busted his face and Good. so there was a little while early covid because this was like 2019 where i was like you know i'm gonna let's peep some of these uh mall prank compilations and yeah. see if i'm like in Anyone. any of them or anything yeah, yeah but i yeah. felt so unbelievably violated by yeah. him doing that no please um, and to be like the, the it's a to me all those types of pranks all that type of touching men doing that shit is like that's such a power thing they're like you're i'm like in control of your yeah. fun you're like the joke of this funny little thing that it's i'm also doing kind of homophobic because isn't it like yeah they're supposed to be like making the, the fun of a intimate touch yeah, yeah. They're i think if i can like scare these people out of that yeah. because if they did it to someone who wasn't my size yeah. and no repercussions, I'm like, well, maybe they'll actually be a little afraid this will happen when they're just doing it to anybody. And Good. Be, um, you just became just my hero, Kyle. Yeah. A little bit, um, Kyle, I'm so glad you did that. That's and so I'm cool. so glad you shared that. I deeply encourage. It's also surprising the amount of times that I've resisted saying I'm sorry when someone bumps into me and they say nothing. Yes. And we, we make full eye contact. And they say nothing, and I'm like, "Where did you get trained?" I am like, I'm, <laughs> I'm slowly you know? becoming more assertive in my, um, you know, Bailey Norton. Of course, uh, ba you know, we're dating. I've heard of her. And, You're um, dating. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> see, you know, I'm so so sad. Sad. I pull your face down into the table. No wonder I keep getting this energy. I'm like, "You're so like." There's a softness, no, no, a no, no, kindness to you. I'm like obsessed um, with Bailey. She Norton. is so like, assertive. She's uh, she's she stands a up for herself too. Uh, she's my hero. Uh, I would say a d d uh, what's it called when it's too much. What do you mean? It, it's sometimes it's bad. Oh, she's oh, like oh. so ready. She will admit. Over, I'm not so saying. I never tell her that over. I'm, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I think yeah. any t way that she wants to stand up for herself is. More, she yeah. does it in the bed yeah. more than I do. But she will even be like, maybe I just need to let it go a little bit like us driving around is so funny because someone will just like cut me off and she's like i'm fucking hope they fucking rack in their families and i'm like okay all right all right all right yeah, but she's yeah, like yeah. she's As so she she's so good at standing up for herself that's so hot there is a violence in a it. hot um, woman who's been scorned by men on the internet oh man, that i she's love. so good at it and so i'm like <laughs> so i'm slowly becoming it. more assertive good. and she's just like we're realizing the difference in the effectiveness where it's like if I'm a three percent assertive, it's more effective than if she's a ninety-seven percent assertive because right. of the seriousness yeah. with which people take us. Because you're like on a tall person. Yeah. yeah, you have like more. I feel like you take up more space physically, and people are just like, "Oh shit!" It's yeah. So it's a bad double standard of taking people seriously, yeah. but it's like a thing that I'm help hoping to. It's wield so real. For good. It's so real. Oh my god. God, I hope that. I mean, there's no way that kid is listening. He's probably 
dead. Um, I hate that. That's I'm no, so glad you did that because I would have. That just I have never feel really good. stood up for myself in the way like that before. And then good. the yeah. thump of his face hitting like the <sighs> railing of the escalator. Yeah. And then the only reason I let go of him is because we were being pulled apart. Yeah. You know, by the yeah. different. Go- and I was just like, and then I'm just <laughs> by like, life. And, and then I like got back to the escalator. I'm like, someone should be clapping. You know what yes, I mean? It's like I'm, I'm like sure. this yeah. like the highest high I've ever been. Well, in my obviously life. nobody felt it important to say something to you. you no, know I think I. I mean? uh, slammed a teenager's face down and no one was on his side. Right. Exactly. Exactly. That's because he's a little prick. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was like all really clear. Like, okay, sometimes that just needs to happen. I... We have to do the podcast. Oh, for sure. But I firmly believe and I I have... Not enough men have been punched in the face. I agree. I I know it's such a like... I don't know. Oh, uh, more and more people agree with me the more t- that I say it. But I actually am just like, there's a large, probably mostly, no, I would say all ages, group of men who have had no repercussions for like, not like, yeah. not detrimental to people's health actions, but mm-hmm. just like absolute shithole, constant treatment of strangers. Yeah. yeah. And every once in a while, I'm like, I think a stranger needs to punch you in the face. So you realize that maybe you can't walk around like that. Right. Yeah. I think they need to be bullied. I say that all the time. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that person needs to be bullied. Listen, the wrong people I, were bullied constantly. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yes. It's of the course. good people that are trying their best that are being mm-hmm. torn down and then like absolute villains are running around being like, <laughs> what if I shove something up your ass in public and right. filmed it? And I'm right. like, um, excuse me, Trev. Yeah. Like, and it's like someone needs to find your damage and call it out in yeah. front of the world that's uh, why i love yeah. so much when bailey the way she like treats people in her comments online oh, yes. people just say stuff and she'll just be like physically you are so ugly no one will love you yeah. and i'm like look i get that that's a bad thing to say to everyone sure but to this person in particular who you don't even know what they look like because their pictures in el camino yeah um <laughs> <laughs> she, you, if you know what, like, what will make them feel? Sometimes you <laughs> sounds so bad. Like, if you can figure out what will make a bully feel the worst, sometimes you have to say it, even if it's not a proper thing to say to yeah. most people. Yeah. And it's honestly not our fault that it's always men. <laughs> right. It's not. It's genuinely not our fault that it's always men. Like I, je- like I, I heard a guy. Is, it's not. I mean, I'm just saying this is the funniest start to the podcast that it has is. ever happened. And I want to hear your thoughts, everybody. So <laughs> get in the comments. Um. Okay. We, uh, we have to talk about a movie. Yeah. Let's do a break. Okay. This will probably be our second one. How long have we been going? Uh, Thirty-seven minutes. Thirty-seven minutes. <laughs> Oh, that's all? Oh, that's so funny. We were just getting going. Well, I know. <coughs> I mean, I guess I'll record an intro separately. Great. Um, okay, well, we're back. Who knows what will remain in there? Great. Um, <laughs> if you're taking cliff notes at home, we're pro-bullying, pro-physical yeah. altercations with teenagers in yeah. public. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, that that's pretty much it. Anti-apologizing. Yeah. That's kind of the, what the crux of it is. And I think we also hit... Pro lar- loud barfing, loud barfing, <laughs> and loud that. sneezing. <sighs> we yeah. did had that. I think that I'm. I probably am, and I apologize. Bringing a weird energy. Um, what if this was April Fools? We're not actually recording yet. Uh, I'm. <laughs> Wait, I did start hearing music in my headphones a little bit. Did you guys hear it, or am I? I did. No, I did. Right. I didn't. Wait here. If you if you if you're quiet, you can hear it. Yeah, oh yeah, it's like it probably won't. You won't be able to hear it on this. It's just a frequency thing with the headphones. Uh, it's probably the headphone amp, like picking oh, up a signal or something. Oh, of course, it sounds um, like radio. Yeah, I, yeah. I Did used you to ever be... have walkie-talkies and of growing course. up, and you could hear phone calls on them? Yeah, it was the best. Oh my gosh, it was so crazy to hear what Joan was talking about. <laughs> Joan was my neighbor. I used to work at a guitar center, so I know a thing or two about an amp. Oh <laughs> shit! I know a little bit about a preamp. What is uh? Frequency. Are the stereotypes about people who come into guitar center and play on the guitars true? Absolutely. I also thought that I would work at a guitar center to like meet women, and no woman has ever gone to a guitar center yeah. to meet a lesbian. That's so interesting. That would be kind of a cool place. I could see you being <laughs> like, "This is a place for a meet cute." Right. Like, yeah. Thinking like I could be. I <laughs> think a little bit more about it. I'm like, well, I could see. A woman thinking twice about this, avoiding the place the worst men go. Right. Do you know what right. I mean? If you're like, right. I'm going to go to a sports betting area of a casino to meet a woman. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's at, at first you're like, I kind of understand I could shine. And then in reality, you're like, this is a, this is two steps away from a Trump rally. Yeah. The, I, the I could shine makes sense. <sighs> yeah. It was tough. A lot of beards. So a lot of 
bearded men that you can't even see their lips. Did but, you work at the mm-hmm. one on um, in Hollywood? No, I worked in the Midwest, but multiple oh. locations out there. Mm. Shit, mm. I, you like move, you got around. I got around, <laughs> and I heard a lot of smoke <laughs> on the water. It's even funnier that it was not in like. It's no. in the Midwest. Yeah. You're like, maybe I'll run into the lesbian from this town. <laughs> <laughs> this singular lesbian. Uh, oh. Hopefully the lesbian in this town likes Courtney Barnett and I'm is in just... here to like get a strat or something. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um. I'm actually going next week back to the Midwest to do shows mm-hmm. and I'm going to the town that I was is that at where the you're Guitar from? Center. Yeah, I'm where from, you from Minnesota. I went to mm-hmm. college in Wisconsin. Okay. And the first leg of this tour that I'm doing in the spring is my hometown first, mm-hmm. then my college town, and then where I... The, se- the third city is where I worked at a guitar center. I wow. fucking love and that. I'm ready, but I think I, like I want to go to that guitar center. It's it got like me the... addicted to cigarettes. I thought I would find women and I ended up being addicted <laughs> to cigarettes. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and I had so many male friends. I was like, this is really backfiring and I'm going to get lung cancer. That's so funny. <laughs> you, you like develop the only habit more expensive than being really into guitars. Yeah. It's just constantly smoking. <laughs> yeah, Camel Crush menthol lights just <laughs> ripping them. Oh, yeah. All right. Incredible. Rip, yeah. Do wow. you play guitar? Yeah, I okay. play not well, but I play well enough to fuck a girl. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck, that's so funny. You gotta fun. find a girl who plays the tiniest version of the guitar. Yeah, yes. there we go. Do. Yeah, that's the way. The ukulele girls, they'll fuck. They're out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There You're the... describing Bailey. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've heard the I've heard all I the mean music. That in the best way. Yeah. Um, man, that's so funny. So wait, where in like, like Minneapolis and Madison and Minneapolis, Madison, and then it's Milwaukee, but it's the improv out there is in Brookfield, sure, which is just outside. Cause like, the improvs will randomly be like, oh, let's yeah. get you 20 minutes outside of the actual city. Yeah. yeah. We're trying to get you by airport in case a convention <laughs> can all come fill out the room. That's so big. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like if you do the, uh, Rosemont Zanies in Chicago and you're oh. just like, I'm doing Zanies ish. Is Zany's ish is so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's. I'm like excited. I'm worried that the girl that I was closeted with, I think, is coming to the show Whoa. in the first show. So the first show is my hometown. So me- meaning it'll be a, a ton of people who want to come see the show. It'll be a, 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 a large percentage of my mom's church friends, and then possibly the girl I was closeted with. Wild. Yeah, that's so. I'm I'm excited for you though. I always feel like a homecoming is like. It's so scary, but it's also so like gratifying. Yeah, I have a much more difficult time doing it in front of people I know. Same. It's just so. It's nice to go somewhere where you know people because you know people will be there. Yeah. yeah. But it's just really nice when it, there's people there and you don't know them. It's bliss. Oh, I. And you're I like, love oh, this it. is the best thing that's ever happened. Yeah. Ever. Oh God. Yeah. yeah. I'll never do a show in my hometown ever. Good. Yeah. I'll Wait, where never are you do from? It. Clinton, New Jersey. Oh, oh. my God. Well, that's I love everyone why. I've ever met from New Jersey. What is that? Uh, that's Is that I mean, weird for me? I think it is a weird thing. I like a lot. Almost everyone. Yeah. Everyone I've ever met from and has left New Jersey. The yeah. Best. I feel like, I mean, I'm only speaking of women. I thought that that should be clear. Sure. I'm well, none of the men get out. I've never talked to, I, I haven't talked don't. to a man in a long time yeah. except for right now. Yeah. Um, but the women from New Jersey that I, that are all out here yeah. are like the hottest, kindest, coolest women I of l- all time. I, I like, if I, yeah, I like all the women that are from New Jersey too, for the most part. I, I also like have a soft spot for like the idiot dudes yeah. who are just like, I, I was born an idiot and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, born an idiot. Literally, I was born an idiot. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm kind I'm nice, but I'm I'm never gonna I'm yeah. never gonna like go all the way. Yeah, sure. it's nice to know thyself. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? To be like, I'm gonna be here forever. Yeah, exactly. Fine. <laughs> I don't care. Work at Cabela's. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you're so friendly and nice and so wrong <laughs> and your brain is broken, but it's like I feel at home. You yes. Know? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Among those, it's like a, a certain Is Clinton brand. North or South? It is like in the center. In the so center. it's right on the border of Pennsylvania um, by like Bucks County. That's how <laughs> I feel like I know these these types of people different because they're not new jersey but in the midwest where you seem are you from missouri okay yeah Mm -hmm. and that's kind of the south midwest but still Mm -hmm. culturally Uh, northern missouri i would consider the midwest southern missouri i would consider the south yeah it is a weird it's almost like there's a mason dixon line that ran through it (laughs) that (laughs) some sort of conflict based geography i I love (laughs) yeah i really i love people who escape the midwest i we're a good breed i feel like this is what's it's so weird i mean because i'm 
planning a wedding and yeah. merging my life and stuff. And then I swear to God, we'll talk about this movie. But watching, like I'll go on double dates with Nazara, yeah. with my friends in the Midwest who are, have never left. So it, it's like a, like my female friends who now have husband, Midwest husbands. Yeah. And trying to he like hear my fiance from San Francisco, first generation American, like queer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to a guy Eric. who, own, Eric, who, <laughs> who like goes to church on Sunday and fishes. Yeah. And yeah. Wa- hearing them try to find an overlap yeah. is crazy. This is it's why really... we need to thank Taylor Swift for dating Travis Kelsey. Yes. Wow. <laughs> there yes. she is. Yeah. Um, I have had, Fuck, what was I gonna? I think, because you're from Minnesota. Yes. Minnesota is, and not on the low, the best state in the United States. For real. Wow. And I don't think it gets like the progressive. It's so. It's the, blue. People it, it's, think it's Iowa. People no, no. Are like, Minnesota was blue for Reagan. Yeah. The literal only state <laughs> that didn't vote for Ronald Reagan. Hi. It's the craziest. Like, That's if, like so what's, dope. Min- what's on? What's like the Mount Rushmore of Minnesota things? They didn't vote for Reagan. Prince, Prince is from there. Yeah. yeah. They're always cool. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing the music a little louder. It's very weird. It, I think Minnesota is on the low, maybe the best state. And, and like their public services are the only ones on like the same level as California. No, it, it's a and very cool. weird place. It's that. so cool. It's super queer. It's super diverse. It's very like a lot of different types of people are there and nobody talks about it yeah. because they're like, I don't, it's like a bike. It's a very bikeable. People assume it's a Dakota or it Iowa. Sounds like a, it sounds like a Midwest Portland? Kind of, yeah. It's like, it is just different than I think people think. Like when Nazara started coming to the Midwest, she was like, yeah. oh my God, there's like, this is not, when she was there's in Minnesota, f- yeah. she's Very like, good food in Minnesota. Yeah. In like the Twin Cities. Wow, good so to eat. interesting. It's so, it, but with like Midwest portions, you're like, oh, yeah. this is like a three-star Michelin restaurant with like to go bags. Yeah, it's like, like every, everyone is like poly, but it's also fat. It rocks. <laughs> 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 They're roly poly. Yeah, that is. I, it rocks. I ride so hard for that. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. I really I fucking just, ride so hard for that. It's as good a state as there is. Yeah. Um, so so I, I, I tend to not lump it in with the rest of the Midwestern states. Yeah. Fair. Um, although the rest of the Midwestern states do have like parts that are trying. Yeah. Minnesota is just so successfully its own very great place. I didn't know yeah. this about Minnesota. So now you guys have spread the good word. Come on down. I mean, I, that's how progressive they are. It's like to come on down, and it's the northern. I was just state. gonna say, I don't feel like I could come on down. Yeah, no, um, not Minnesota but. logistically. But we need to talk about my cousin Vinny, like in any capacity. Okay, for okay. sure. I, um, Which I feel like does give Jersey. Does it? it I've does. never seen it. Me neither. Oh, okay. I also haven't. I literally, I, I have no idea. I've heard the name. I just, I no idea what it's about. Who's in it? I know nothing. Yeah. What Same. The, what, uh, Rachel thought it probably was here. Mm-hmm. Did you write this, Rachel? Yes, I did. Okay. I wrote this in one draft and didn't format it, as you can see. And Rachel, no, you I can like cast it. it out however you'd like. Thank you. Oh, great. We're going to have, let's see. There's going to be, <laughs> I'm going to do Vinny off. I'll do Vinny. We'll do, uh, Lindsay will do Angie and okay. we'll have Kyle do Doreen. Great. I think that's okay. it. I love it. Sick. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay. Do you want me to do all the... Yeah, I'll do all the stuff. Yeah, you do Okay, (laughs) exterior courthouse. We open on the outside of a courthouse. The sun is shining, and it looks like the middle of summer in what we can only assume to be New Jersey. Wow. (gasps) Okay, this is great. Where the hairspray is thick and heterosexuality reigns supreme. (laughs) (laughs) It's the mid-90s? Possibly. The camera then flies through the courthouse doors and we land on a close-up of our lead, Angie. She's early 30s, hot in a way that lesbians really like. Great hands with messy hair. She looks like uh, she fights a lot, but kisses really soft. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the way a lesbian likes it. Okay. She exhales a puff of smoke after taking a long ass drag off of her super skinny caramel crush lights. Okay. See, I'm inspired by Guitar Center. Yeah. And she delivers the most iconic line of the movie. My cousin Vinny's been dead for 15 years. <gasps> the screen goes black and texts on screen <laughs> appear 15 years earlier. We see Angie in her apartment. The camera zooms in on a picture of Vinny and Angie in a frame that says world's best cousins. Angie is just finished making Doreen, who's mid thirties, tall femme with zero boundaries, climax. Doreen, who's half out of breath in a Jersey, in a thick New Jersey accent. I don't know accent. if I can do New Jersey, but... Do it. Uh, it's only because of my throat being bad. For sure. I can't yell. Anyway, 
You're so good at that. I wish we could run away together. My family <laughs> says if I don't get married by the end of this movie, I have to become a nun. And you know, I'm, I don't know why I'm doing uh, uh, the mom from no, Bob's I, Burgers. I like it. I like but it. It's good. It's breathy because you, you were just made to, to climax. Yeah. And so. you, you know how bad my mom says, if I don't get married by the end of this movie, I have to become a nun. And you know how bad I look in cotton. This body needs mesh and pleather. Mm -hmm. Just then we hear a man fall from the sky and thud to the sidewalk. <laughs> Vinny off screen says, but I never got to cash my lawsuit settlement check. <laughs> Angie and Doreen get up to the window and run to the window. We see both girls in lingerie. A white wife pleaser on Angie and Doreen is holding a Nike sports bra over her chest. But sometimes we can see a little areola and under tit. <laughs> Uh, they look at each other, then right away to Cam, they say in unison, How, how will we, we ever, ever get, get his money from, from his lawsuit now? now? Everyone, Everyone knows you die before you, you cash your settlement check. check. You, you never, never get, get that money. money. Really good. If you assume the identity of your cousin Vinny, we can cash the check and I can marry you and not have to be a nun. It's a win-win and I think you could really pull this off. We see a montage then of Angie and Doreen in a dressing room in the fanciest store they can think of in all of New Jersey. Ed Hardy, maybe? <laughs> 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 we see Doreen and Angie and cutting Angie's hair and gelling it back. She draws on a mustache. It actually looks pretty good and hot. At the end of the montage, we see Angie and Doreen move Vinny's body in a funny and not disturbing <laughs> way. Are you sure I look enough like my cousin Vinny? Big time, yes. <laughs> If I didn't know it was you in there, I'd for sure think you were about to get drunk and complain about how women are too tall these days. Yeah, but he was insecure about his height. And may he rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> All we have to do now is get legally married and cash his check for that lawsuit and we can run away together and kiss with tongue. No nunnery for me, thank God. <laughs> they start to kiss and this is a really good long kiss. It turns into a well-lit sex scene between the two women. <laughs> The mustache stays on Angie. The couple gets married in a courthouse and everything goes to plan. They exchange rings and sign a marriage license and then they hook up a bunch. They go to the bank and the bank teller gives a, a comically large check that says Vinny's settlement money on it and the teller gives the woman several large sacks with money falling out of them. Angie and Doreen live together for the next 15 years Aww. as a married couple, wow. living off of the money that they got and no one suspected a thing. Angie sometimes has to do the classic Mrs. Doubtfire thing during family gatherings <laughs> <laughs> when Vinny and Angie are supposed to be in the same place at the same time. But weirdly, it all works out all up until an insurance agent, an ex of an ex-girlfriend of Doreen, cracks the case wide open because she found the framed best cousins ever photo online and realizes that Vinny doesn't have the same blue eyes, but Angie does. Whoa. Wow. Great job. You guys were phenomenal. Thank you. A lot of chemistry. <laughs> yeah, I felt it. Rough sure. way to find the only accent I can do 283 <laughs> episodes into the podcast. <laughs> I mean, you did it so well. I felt it. Thank you. Wow. It was just if I was trying to do if Adriana from The Sopranos oh didn't get killed. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> it's my favorite episode. Your favorite episode? Of yeah. The yeah. No, it's good. It's the best episode. Yeah, it's crazy. Guys, if you haven't seen it, she's, she gets killed. <laughs> wow. She literally okay, I gets haven't killed. It's just so it. funny out of context. Pick, oh, when she dies is like the best. I think it's a great episode. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's so good. It's phenomenal. We're breaking new ground here on Never Seen It. We've officially stated The Sopranos is good. <laughs> oh, I'm obsessed. Yeah, me too. It's, mo it's one of my favorite shows of all time. Is that the Edie Falco one? Yes. Yeah. Done. I got to go watch that. Oh, I mean, there's yeah. like... I we, we could turn this into a Sopranos podcast. It, it, yeah. That, James Gandolfini and E. Falco together is the single greatest like on screen thing that's ever existed. Yeah. And their chemistry is so incredible that once you watch The Sopranos, you can't watch other stuff that's like serious for months no. because you're just like you have to like watch Bob's Burgers or something afterwards because yeah. you're just like, oh, well, nothing's as we just are not going to talk about my cousin Vinny at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't even know what it's about. It's, I know a little bit because it, we haven't actually I don't think we've done it on here, but it yeah. comes up a lot. 
Oh, weird. Um, I feel like it came up for me because Hulu was just like, you should watch this movie. Oh. I believe like, my I don't cousin know Vinny, someone won an Oscar for it. it yeah. It's like a, but it's a comedy. I think Marissa Tomei won an Oscar yeah, for I my think cousin so. Vinny. And like Joe Pesci is a New York lawyer and his cousins get in trouble in like Alabama or something like that. And okay. he comes down. So it's like a, he's the fish out of water, right? Mm, the New York right. lawyer in that maybe Alabama or Mississippi or whatever. And he goes down to court there. Is like Joe funny. the lead or is the... Marissa Tomei. I think Joe Pesci is the lead. Well, that's a <laughs> that was a mistake. Yeah, what? Or maybe it's not because sometimes the fish out of water is like because it's hard to Joe Pesci is so good at supporting. You know what yeah. I mean? Because if you you got to limit this insanity a little bit. Yeah. Um. Who knows? He plays Vinny Gambini. Marissa Tomei is Mona Lisa Vito, which is Jesus like if you let my dad Christ. name a Sopranos character. <laughs> that's so. <laughs> oh funny. yeah, yeah. That's Leonardo da Vinci Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Um, Bill Gambini, Judge Chamberlain Hall. I don't really recognize too many other people in this. It's like universally. This is a movie I get shit for not seeing a lot. So is it a comedy? I think it's kind of comedy. Ralph Macchio's in it. Oh, um, I feel like it's... I 1992. Feel, I know you're talking about early oh, 90s. Oh, it's, it's 92. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's reference. It would be referenced by an older male comedian from the Midwest as one of the funniest movies. Mm. That's how I would find it. What, um, Jake, have you seen My Cousin Vinny? Uh, I haven't. Okay, we have no information about this And you've this got a mic over there? Look at you. Yeah, uh, wait, Jake, Wow, why don't we engage you more? <laughs> Jake, cute. <laughs> Jake, do you like... how cute Jake is. Do you like American movies? I'm obsessed with him. He's do you like, like American, American movies? movies? <laughs> I didn't know the concept. I, I literally treat him like he's from another planet. <laughs> 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 I've never met someone from another country. <laughs> I feel like this is such a great example. Why is Jake doing the accent Kyle did in the yeah, scene? It's so weird. <laughs> Your accent is weird. <laughs> um. So that's kind of all I know about my cousin Vinny. Oh it's, my God. it's up there with Princess Bride for movies where people find out I haven't seen. They're like, how have you not? Oh, because that was it's a weird like, one. I uh, haven't seen um, Princess Bride. Yeah, and I, I own it. Oh, now, I someone gave it, it to me on years. LaserDisc, but I don't have a LaserDisc player, obviously. Huh. Uh, but it's like one of those, I missed 90 to 94. I have yeah. seen nothing. Or like 88 to 94, I have never gone back. I just saw Back to the Future for the first time. Oh. I've like uh, never gone back and visited those ones. But this is, yeah. My Cousin Vinny seems like a great two-hour comedy that Whoa. people liked and performances were good. I yeah. just looked up at his two hours. Oh. Um, I guess I would try it. I don't really know. Yeah, I, I kind of did the same thing. I'd take a swig of it. i take a swig if of it my a par- If I was at a party, I would try it. It's hard for me to watch um, older movies. Sorry. I think if it's no, in a courtroom, I don't know. Stuff, this seems like a simple setting. It's just in a courtroom mostly. That might hold up a yeah, little bit. Joe I'm, Pesci being funny. I miss the phone part. I feel like the... <laughs> I miss everyone You being... want people to be on their phones or you yes. can't pay attention? Yeah. I miss I miss uh I miss being able to write uh anything having to do with a cell phone into the script. Uh, just like I think magic that it seems uh, sometimes I'm like it's so fucking easy before cell phones. You're just like, well, they just didn't know. Like, I, did you guys watch Dream Scenario? Yet? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I can't. I, I literally <laughs> cannot with that movie. Really? I hate it. I mean, it, I, here's the thing. It's one of those movies where I'm like, this is objectively a good movie. These performances are great. And like, I wanted to crawl out of my skin. Right. I well, it's to- very upsetting to watch Someone somebody so fart. ugly. <laughs> I can't watch like I feel like men are allowed to be unbelievably unattractive yes. in a way that is like actually uh, jarring. If he's so to unattractive. Watch. Why did that girl want to hook up with him? I know, but that's was that's it because the movie was written by a old guy. Probably yes. <laughs> that's what was so painful yeah. is that like he ripped ass in a nervous way, and then she was still down, and I was like, "Girl, stop!" Right? Like, stop. That was really painful to watch. I wanted to die. I also related <laughs> so hard in. Like, like such a gross way and i was like i mean to no, the b- fart no <laughs> actually You're just I- like going like been there <laughs> Just like that vibe where you like you're just your brain is programmed wrong as a woman and you're just like, hey, this is all fine and I want to fuck this ugly guy. Oh. Sure. And it's like you don't deserve it. I like. No, it's tough. Yeah. I nope. liked the movie. 
I yeah. had a lot of, I didn't love the last 25 minutes. Yeah. Because yeah. I felt this is huge. This is big dream scenario spoilers, though none bigger than the fart. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, so that's rough. the only thing I remember. This it is a big so one, rough. so just hit that 30 second skip ahead a couple times if you haven't seen it and you care. I thought it was so, I thought it made no sense that no that everyone, no one was like, it's not his fault. I well, know. Sure. He's in everyone's dreams and nightmares, and everyone got mad at him. Not a single person in the world, in the whole world, was like, why are we mad at this guy? Right. He's yeah. not doing anything. I think it's crazy. But, like, if that had, because I understand that it just didn't need to be so, like, heavy handed on cancel culture yeah, things. Yeah. Because I don't think if that really happened, first off, I think it would be insane, like it was in the movie. And yeah. I thought the first act of the movie was some of the funniest shit I've ever oh, seen. Oh, for life. sure. But I, and I thought Nicolas Cage was so good. He was so good in because it. Because it's, there's, he, like, brings, like, the weird meta weight that it's him to yeah. the entire thing. But the, at the end, I'm like, this, some people, like if this would be like, it's not his fault. Yeah. But one hundred percent of the world was like, we hate this man. But yeah. something about everyone hating him. I, I, that just, I didn't question that at all. I was like, look at him. Look yeah. at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think uh, they made the choice based off of the fact that it, like, obviously, the idea of him being in everyone's dreams in itself is like completely detached from reality. Yeah. Right. So I got why they did that. But I agree. I thought it was a cool exploration. I just needed like two people to yeah. just be, to be like, like, but it's he, not he, him. There's just one person just like at a, he goes to the fucking bar. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the bartender's like, hey man, nothing you can do about that. Like yeah. just one human just, out there I to like, acknowledge. I do like when a movie goes as hard as they can in a, in a way. Like yeah. when they did the whole spoiler alert, but when they're like, it's now, it's now turning into like a dream house. Yeah. I was like, let's do that for every movie. Yeah. Like go absolutely I love as the hard, hard as swing. you can. Like yeah. it's, I love just the hardest swing possible at yeah. something and, and seeing what hits. And for sure. I was happy. And I just, it was a great performance. I actually thought it was kind of wild that I thought he would get some sort of award sort of yeah. talk because people love him so much. And um, I just thought it would like pop up a little bit. Isn't he chronically in debt? And that's why he I think does he's so in debt movies. for buying um, counterfeit dinosaur bones. Okay. No and way. I, I, I Stop. Don't think that I'm is not from National Treasure. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. It's actually oh, International no. Trasher. Um, <laughs> no, I heard that like people are like, wow, he's in so many movies. And someone was like, oh, it's because he's like yes, yes. deeply in debt. Uh, for a while, he was he was just blowing his money on horrible things. <laughs> and so he's huh. still. And then he did an interview and talked about how he was still in debt. And I'm pretty sure some of it has to do with dinosaur bones. I, I Honestly, I'm, he has the right to do it. Um, God, I wish him. I wish I could find this. I'm gonna look it up because it's that important. I like the idea of a famous actor. Nicholas Cage, sorry, blew no, no, 150 million dollars on a dinosaur bone, <gasps> wow. a pygmy heads, and two European castles. I'm so worried I'm gonna do something like that. I, Are you? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I like the dumb. I feel like I like dumb stuff, and I, I'm worried that this one day I'm just gonna be like, oh no. I've just never seen someone, but I can't believe he changed his last name. From Coppola and then behaved like this. Yeah, that, and mean, you're like, buddy, this is so your last funny. name is like pushing itself. It's permeating. You bought two castles. Yeah, why? Like, and then he's like, the real estate market's really down for two castles. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, you can't Airbnb your castle oh, when you're not there or something. Jesus Christ. But yeah, for sure. And then I think he just. I like his odd choices of being in weird shit. Yeah, it seems too. very accessible. He's like fighting Chuck E. Cheese robots in some movie that he's in. Yeah. And I, I you know, I see him when I can. And Pig, I thought he's in, kind of like stupendously good in. Yeah. It, well, it, it's very. Yeah. Um, but absolutely. That I, 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 I thought Dream Scenario the first like hour. I was like, I'm, I love this so much. And yeah. And it's sort of like. It's like this is kind of long and I it did it, a little bit it did feel and, too long it felt too long i stayed awake during it though which is impressive we i like watched that. it at home i like i hope you have uh, <laughs> i want you to have an applause meter but for sleep meter for during yeah, movies I, honestly <laughs> i i fall asleep in so many movies i should keep track that like because i'm always like there's no way i missed anything and most of the time i'm right i feel like this isn't i'm gonna try not to brag as hard as i can okay. i typically have sex during movies Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm out there. That's, no, that, I no, love that's that. That's very scenario. high school. I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we're like, let's let's put on a movie it's in the middle of the day, at and home. Yeah. daytime, and oh, okay. in the living room because oh, okay. I don't I don't want to have sex in in my room. I didn't know room. if you're just an A list member. Oh, I at home. love yeah. this I'm always, for you. I'm always having sex on the ground during movies, like a teenager. Wow, yeah. I love yeah. that. And I watched this movie with my fiance, like one day ago yeah and i was like oh we made it through the whole movie that's so weird and she was the review of her movie was like it gave me no 
break to try to have sex with you. <laughs> I was just so turned off to the idea oh, of fine. life the entire like, time. I, there was no moment. She was like, I kind of was going to. And then the fart scene happened and she was like, there was so no funny. moment. And because of how like, uh, so now my association with the movie is like, well, I couldn't get my rocks off during it. <laughs> that is so funny. I would maybe be a little freaked out if she was like, I wanted to have sex so bad during dream scenario. Yeah, right. That like, wouldn't think, it. That's not I it. I think the movie might be one of the bigger turnoffs that's existed. Uh, yeah. yeah. Whether the sex scene, the fart scene, or generally how he still loves his ex. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, what's the weirdest movie you had sex during? I mean, I fucked during Shrek a lot, and I feel like Stop. I'll do. Now that like, is a and- Shrek at Ralph. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> I'll fuck to like. I mean, mostly I I have no problems typically. Anytime I'm like, there will just be a vibe. You know what yeah. I mean? But this yeah. movie in particular was like, there was no moment for like a lesbian couple to ever have a, a breath to be able to initiate sex. Whoa. Not that- even at all that's an incredible yet also to too movies. long of a movie what a crazy too long. review that's what I'm, that's that was I kind mean, of our whole sex window now we're yeah. hungry well that's <laughs> the thing it, it kind of sucks that like the movie that you made it through was that movie. i know like it not sucks. that it's a again it's not a bad movie no. but it's just that's not the one it's yeah. not the one at all you know you, you would think versus it'd be like, like killers the, of the flower moon or like, like the, 10 the, moments the pianist oh yeah i i uh i that's a great movie to fuck during you it actually would just break up the drama for a second. I love, honestly, when people are sick, is it, it the drama? <laughs> <laughs> Look at how immobile she is. Genuinely, <laughs> nothing hotter than diabetes. <laughs> right. uh, look, at, look at the, the way he. Look at the, the like medical it, system is in shambles. Yeah, I fucking love it. If you like a toxic lesbian, you should have sex to the L word, the original. Okay, that makes sense. I like um, procedurals. Oh, wow. uh, so like that's my that's or my like go to yeah like or nine one one right now I'm watching yes th- right now I'm watching Chicago the resident Fire. I will watch every bad procedural wow. that exists and I will always have it on in the background so if I were to fuck during something it would be during that mm-hmm. but movies are I like I like very fucked up I'm always watching like some fucked up documentary yeah. about people who are dead mm-hmm. but are they like yep. so it's like never really appropriate <laughs> are you watching the French one. I'm about to okay. today. I, I'm aware of is it. Is it called the front? And I want to. It's this Netflix one that is about like a ring of like child abusers in yeah. France. We really are getting. Which is a, very oh, sorry, like, my There's vibe. a lot, a lot <laughs> that of That is my vibe. That's yeah. your vibe. <laughs> that is my vibe. Yeah, me too. I am more fucked up. They just the slam the kids down on escalators. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny when like I genuinely like the more fucked up the better. But sometimes they show just too much where mm. I'm like, this is distasteful. I can't believe you do this. <laughs> Amping yeah. up the thing I've I'm watched like, 90 how times. How dare you show this yeah. part? And it's yeah. like, I'm all in for like the child sex ring, but like, yeah. I'm not. But like, how don't show me anything. Don't show right. me a crime scene, you yeah, freak. Why Only tell me about fuck? it in exact detail. Exactly. I just yeah. wish I could have a montage of the explanation because every one of them has about eight minutes where various cops describe how wrong they did everything. That's- I just want all of that because it's like, well, the bad guy was there. And we were talking to Ugh. him and he said he did it, but you yeah. know, I was playing Pokemon Go and yes. Yes. Uh, I was trying to, so we didn't, we, we thought we would, uh, I came, yeah. which threw off the evidence. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got an actual push notification that says the Jinx 2 is coming. Stop. So like my phone ha- it was like, the it's Jinx coming. Do you have two? Netflix on your phone? No, I, it was from HBO. That's so weird. Which the I don't know j- how. The Jinx 2? <laughs> no, I, I, uh, it's called buy me a coke <laughs> <laughs> no i i love fucked up movies deeply and um and i forgot what i was gonna say i think the jinx was unfortunately so good it spawned seven hundred fifty thousand other yeah. things like that yes of journalists withholding information oh, i remember what i was gonna <laughs> to say. make a cool movie there you're i've always noticed you're totally right every single crime documentary is about how stupid cops are all of them not even all the crime ones. ones. The it, documentary about OJ Simpson's every, life is about how stupid cops every are. Every documentary, and you know, ne- you only get interviews with like old retired cops who are like, "Yeah, you know what? Not my best work." We weren't using pictures back then. Yeah, and you know, I was in a hurry to get home. 
A hundred percent. Someone always, someone else always solves the crime. It's always because somebody else pushed it. There's no interesting cases where the cops were like, they were nailing it. Because yeah. they're never nailing Even like it. That, I know. That, Unfortunately, that, uh, that's Ed, not you know. what they do. Ed Kemper, that serial killer, Ed Kemper, he's oh, like yeah. in Mind Hunter. Yes, yes, yes. He only got caught because he told them. He basically had to like oh let God. them catch him. And he would go to the cop bar and talk to them about it. Every day he's like so, he's like so how about that guy who killed that lady did you see this and he's just giving them details and they're like oh we hadn't thought of that and oh, like no. he just had to eventually be like I'm you need to catch me that's and it, it's it's that's all I get out of, I watch the true crime things and all of them not all of them but every time I watch them I'm like I'm hyped for the five minutes of just cops being like well yeah we lost the whole case file yeah because you know we were making room because we got Oregon Trail on the Mac too, <laughs> or something like that oh. I've watched a couple Japanese there's not like crime in Japan is really low but I've come across like a couple Japanese crime documentaries and it's so funny how like most of the story is still again that the cops are stupid but they're so upset that they're proved wrong like the criminal if like a criminal goes hard in Japan they personally try to humiliate the cops right. and they get really upset by it like anytime if they're that's like all the ones that I've seen and the cops are just like god we're so like they're really they're yeah. so ashamed that they're stupid that they refuse to acknowledge it they're well, like see, we, we have a w easy way to fix that here the cops will shoot you yeah 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 and well, they'll just take care of you that's the thing they don't have guns so like i'm listening to this story and it's like we showed up at the criminal's house and he got away and it's like what <laughs> nobody yeah. has guns well you didn't shoot the neighbor's dog yeah <laughs> It's so bonkers. It's like, wow, you just knocked on the door. <laughs> you didn't oh. shoot someone asleep next door yeah. or something like that. I know you didn't kick down the door. And oh. All right. Okay. Okay. Jake, are there cops in England? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Do they, they do? They, they, they don't have guns. They don't have guns? Don't they have no. vests? I'm assuming a baton, yeah. Yeah. a tall hat. <laughs> do you call him a slag? Sorry. What? I'm so sorry. What does that I'm even so mean? Sorry. I'm so sorry. I take it back. I, should, I watched too many UK reality shows. Isn't that what slut? What is a slag? Is that a slut? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you call your cops sluts? I think we should just call it, start calling the cops here sluts. Uh, I feel like you've said such few words that I can't even really tell that you have an accent. It just makes Lindsay seem crazier and crazier. <laughs> it's actually mostly been a soundboard of Jake we have so far. These have been pre-records oh based God. off common questions. That come by. We need to end this. Oh, right, right. I right. think maybe I really want to watch My Cousin Vinny, honestly. Me too. Okay, it just seems sure. funny. I, you hear like Marissa Tomei won an Oscar for a comedy? That doesn't happen at all Yeah, anymore. I guess I should watch it. I'll doesn't watch anything she does. Oh, yeah. The best. Um, but <gasps> once again, none of us have seen no. <laughs> Thank you. No. Rachel, thank you for being here. Yeah. Uh, tell everyone where to find you and stuff you have going on. This oh. will be out a week from Wednesday. So like the Oh, 10th. okay. I have a special called Gay Fantasies coming out on June 4th. You can get it, uh, buy, go buy it anywhere. And then I'm on tour with Two Dykes and a Mic. You can follow me at Rachel Safety and come see a live show. I'm touring all spring and fall. Hell awesome. Yeah. Yay. Lindsay, anything you want to tell me? Um, I don't know. Or do you want just calling cops sluts <laughs> if you to have a way out? <laughs> if you have a weird accent, DM me. <laughs> <laughs> if you At hate my jacket, let me know, yeah. please. <laughs> yeah, DM me a You want to read accents? <laughs> exactly. Send me a voice recording. No, my Instagram is at Lindsay Adams is popular. That's also my TikTok. Um, and I'm going to New York um, in end of April. And I'll be doing shows there. So if... You're in New York. Don't talk to me after. <laughs> I'll panic. I'll panic. Uh, and what's the best croissant you've had in LA in the past month? Oh, fuck. Uh, Car in Pasadena. It's called Car. I don't know. I got them fresh. I made croissants yesterday. I saw that. And they were fucking ass. No. Yeah. So don't do that. But um, but yeah, Car Artesian chocolate. Do you know this app Too Good To Go? No. Have we talked about I, I meant to bring it up earlier when we were plugging apps uh, on the <laughs> We movie. really were. Okay, we, then we got to go. Um, basically, it's an app where you can buy baked goods at the end of the day they were going to throw out in big <gasps> bags really cheap. Ooh. So it's like 3 or $4 and you get like a sack of them. And, you know, because they can't, I'm unfortunately, you can't I'm just give them away because of health code stuff, blah, I blah, 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 I know all this sort of stuff. I know that from when I worked at Dunkin' yeah. Donuts. I know. I worked at Panera. I think we've actually talked about yes, this. It's like right. you can't just throw this shit. Or, or you can't even like donate it to no. people like, who need it because oh, uh, no. of health code stuff. So they're like, yeah. hey, really cheap. You can buy these things. Like I bought one. It was like two breakfast burritos and three pastries for $4. Ooh. Um, too good to go. That's 
So check out that app. <laughs> <laughs> check out that right. app. But it's Game. mostly bakeries. We're good. We're done. Thank you. Yay. This was so fun, you guys. I've never seen 